So I was asked a question online um, on what specifically I do to reef. Um, and this is it. We can see the sails up. We're in beautiful Puerto Amon. And uh, it's a nice enough day to show you exactly my reefing process. Um, so here goes. I'd move from the helm. I'd come to here and I'd go, I want to put the first reef in. Red rope is the halyard. So I wrap the halyard around the desired amount of times. I do four, some people do three. Blah, blah, blah. The sail is eased. And what I would do is get reef one here, take the tension out of it. As you can see, the sail's pulling down a little bit. Wrapping said reef around this winch. Drop the halyard. few inches, few feet at a time. Because of the wind direction at the minute, this is going to be quite hard to do. So what we're going to do is, nice and small, drop that one. Come back out. And as I drop the sail, I pull the reef in. We just repeat this process you know, a few times till so I'm happy where the sail would be. See that's nice and tight on the end there. Uh, on the foot, but on the clue, quite flat. So, I could either do this beforehand or as I'm doing it now, I'll get the uh, topping lift, give that a nice little winch up. I handle this here. Important to remember that you you have to release the kicker rope. And now you're just trying to snap your boom. Now what I can do is I can pull the rest with that first reef in. When I'm you know when I'm at a happy reasonable place, I'll winch back up on the main halyard. I will not winching more on the reef. So I come back up on the halyard like so. Winch, 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 winch. Alright, you see the winch is spinning like that look. Nothing's happening. This is what I need to do for. That's number four in there. Now we've got a nice, lovely, lovely sail. Okay, it's not fully in on the, on the reef at the back of it. Other than that, you get the point on how I, how I make a reef. I imagine it being, you know, no different than any other sailor. Uh, everything runs back to the cockpit. I don't have to go to the, to the mast. Um, and then all I have to do is I have to just take in the trailing the loose reefing lines, uh, and then you know that's the job done. Um, to take the reef out, you do you do the opposite. So let's say I want to release the reef here. You know, the crew are annoyed right now because they're like, just put a reef in. What do you mean take it out? Um, open up reef one. You just you just winch. You let it roll. And yeah, we just we just go for this, you know. Like so, keep feeding the the first reef back out. Hope that answers your questions. Um yeah, any other questions, feel free to fire them away. Thank you for coming. So yesterday I showed you how I physically put a reef in. And now I'm going to talk to you about why. I have no legs, as you see. Um, so my balance is very, you know, it's not as good as a normal person's balance. Which means that when the boat is heeled over, 
it's harder for me to walk around, especially downstairs where there's not many things to grab. And yeah, it just makes life a little bit harder. So whenever it's 15 knots, as soon as I see 15 knots on the, um, on my instruments, I'll put a reef in because the boat goes to about, you know, 15 degrees. And for me, a level boat is paramount for my stability. Um, the boat could take a lot more, but I don't like to give it a lot more. So I reef very early. I put the first reef in at 15 knots. I'll put the second reef in at maybe 18 to 20 knots. And then, you know, I've got four reefs. So I'll reef quite early just to keep the boat level. Um, Any time that we're night sailing, I may even drop the main completely and just run off the Genoa because I like a nice, comfortable boat. But if the winds, you know, if it's 10 knots and we're in the trade winds, like like we did when we were crossing the Atlantic, maybe I'll just put one reef in the main and then we'll keep the Genoa out all the way. But the way that I put the reef in is I will use the Genoa to back the main, meaning I'll sheet in on the Genoa and then I'll go as high into the wind as I can on the Genoa, ease the main. The main will be backwinded by the wind of the Genoa. And then I'll put the reef in, um, or I will, um, I'll heave to, or you know, sometimes just stick the engine on, uh, nice and easy. Yeah, I think these are the biggest differences I have to other people, whereas other people can really let the boat ride over and keep it going. And when the boat is truly overpowered, then they'll de uh, then they'll put a reef in, or as it's about to be overpowered, but. My boat won't get overpowered at all because I don't let it. Um, because I want a upright, stable boat, uh, which might mean that we lose a bit of, you know, tiny bit of speed for comfort. But it's better than me feeling uncomfortable in the uh, in the boat. I think that is all I can think of in terms of what changes in the uh, reefing techniques it's just i reef a lot earlier um sometimes I even reef at 12 knots just because i know the wind's going to pick up it's that it's just that really it's different pause 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 do you know what you're talking about the main so it's nice and flogging as it were I think that is. So Hello. Yes. <laughs> no, no, cut. Start again. <laughs> so I um. Ready to go.